What's going on everyone? This is Zach with Shikli Shisha and I am joined with Salima and we are doing a review today of Island Papaya by it? Fumari. By Fumari. Oh look we were up in the Fumari <laughs> shirt which I did buy myself by the way. No thanks to Fumari. Side note. Okay <laughs> what is it what does the Island Papaya smell like? Um well it definitely smells like papaya. I do Smell a little bit of citrus in it to cut that strong papaya smell, so that's kind of nice. Is it like the fruit you bite into? Is it like a candy papaya? What does it smell like? I mean, it's a little bit sweeter than uh, the fruit itself. However, I've never had a candied papaya, so I can't really like okay. be a good judge for that. Okay. Now that she doesn't mention the citrus <laughs> notes, I will steal a little bit from the heart. I am getting some citrus notes and um, a fresh papaya smell. Um, just like when you cut into a ripe papaya, that's what I smell. And my grandfather is actually a big papaya eater. Always papaya in my house and I never join him eating it because I don't really care for papaya. But this is exactly what the ins inside of the fruit smells like. How does it translate to smoke? Well, first of all, I just want to say this. I've always been a fan of Fumari. I think their smoke output is always great. I don't have, like, huge lungs like Zach, so my output's never as good as his. But with Fumari, it comes a little bit closer to being matched. So it's nice. Um, this, The flavor of the smoke is not nearly as strong as the scent. It's a lot more subtle, which is nice, because as Zach mentioned, he doesn't like papaya, and I'm not a huge fan of it either. So if I were smoking the flavor and it was much more stronger related to the fruit, I don't think I'd enjoy it. But this is this is a lot nicer than I anticipated. So I always thought I didn't like papaya because of the texture. Something about the texture when I eat papaya is not something I prefer. So I figured I'd try the hookah flavor and maybe I would grasp that papaya flavor and actually really enjoy it. Um, I still don't like papaya and this hasn't really changed my mind, but what this tastes like when you're smoking it, um, it's a little different from the smell. Yeah. I am getting, instead of like the fresh fruit you'd bite into, I'm getting more of like the papaya peel. Okay. And that is, sometimes it happens a lot with tobaccos, uh, the smell is very fresh, like the fruit, There's a lot, especially a lot of the orange flavors. You smell orange, but when you, when you smoke it, it's like the orange peel, you get that dirty flavor. And if I just describe this, I would also describe like a dirty papaya peel. So it's not that pleasant to smoke. I I'm, I don't really enjoy it. I don't think I would buy it again. Okay. But I have noticed better results when I'm smoking with the Cloud Lotus and there's not direct heat contact with the tobacco. The flavor tends to come out a little bit more. But Fumari does take heat well and we are smoking it in my everyday smoke, which is the KM FIFA Ice Chiller. <laughs> Using a new hose today, it's gonna be the uh, Dream Aluminum uh, Handle Hose. And we have three titanium coals on. And like I said, it does take heat. And Slima mentioned that the smoke output is very nice with Fumari. So, personally, I'm not a big fan. Did you really care for it? Um, honestly, I would prefer to smoke this flavor instead of eating the fruit. Uh, I don't really know what the dirty peel is like. I'm not really around papayas, so I can't vouch for that. But I do like it a lot more than the taste of a papaya. So, personally, I like this more. Okay, so you like this more than the fruit. Okay, that's yeah, for a sure. different perspective. I like that. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't really suggest it, but mm -hmm. if you want to try something new, a lot of people, especially mm -hmm. in the forums, this is the reason why I tried this, when they suggest top Fumari flavors, this ranks up there with spice chai, mint chocolate chili, ambrosia. So Island Papaya is one of the top Fumari flavors. Um, like I said, I don't prefer it, but a lot of people might. I would probably mix this with something, um, something with a little bit stronger flavor to cut it, kind of dry out the papaya, but just has a compliment to the side. So I would use it as a mixer personally. But the cloud output is great. I'm great. I'm gonna show you a few more clouds. So after smoking this for a little while longer, uh, Slim actually had some more input she wanted to add to it. So what were you saying about the smoke and the buzz and everything? Um, I mean I already mentioned this a little. I've always been a fan of Fumari's cloud output, but I really like I guess the consistency of the cloud. It just feels thicker. Like, I'm not very good at blowing O's, and so, like, whenever I smoke, I try and get those O's, and I always look retarded with other, you know, like, tobaccos. But with Fumari, I can always get a few in there, so it's nice. I'm not sure if that has to do with the coals or heat output or the water. I don't know anything about that, but I'm just saying in terms of the cloud density, I like this more. Yes, so Fumari does have very thick, dense clouds when they come out, so I've always explained this to people. 
there's a difference between uh, volume and density, and Fumari puts out a, um, a dense smoke. Also, I don't really get a buzz from it. Yeah, but we will cut out in a few mm -hmm. minutes, and uh, this is the end of this video, but we will do a review right after this on the aluminum uh, dream hose and tell you guys what we think about this. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you very much. Bye.